there are cases of uh, deformities within communities where water has been polluted. Cleaning up this water for human consumption is becoming more and more expensive. The problem we have in Ghana is that illegal um, mining has only exacerbated the situation in which we, we find ourselves. Unfortunately, this water that has been polluted by illegal miners find its way into our water streams and the source of water for drinking and even end up in the in the ocean as well and cumulatively this affects the health and well-being of of our population to put it in practical perspective it means people drink this water they get sick the productivity of our country um, is affected as a result and so there's a need to find a way to address this collectively as a people. The research from the um, areas, especially where illegal mining currently ongoing with the efforts being put in by the government, we are told that by 2040, if the, we do not put a stop to how much we are contaminating our water bodies as a result of illegal mining, we will unfortunately um, be associated with countries that are water stressed because our water quality will not be good for human consumption. I think as collectively, this fight against um, illegal mining um, requires that everybody is put on deck. There has to be much more education within our local communities on the relationship between good quality water and their very health. And the political will by our leadership needs to be demonstrated within all areas where um, illegal mining currently takes place. And then, of course, the need to work together, build the capacity of um, people who are involved in mining in our country to protect our water, water body. It is something which um, has been lacking for a while.